it feels like a pattern that just keeps on repeating itself, but just keeps on getting worse every year, and I can't help but worry about what's to come. Summer's out, and school is about to be back in session. Quebec children coming back to classrooms this week, despite over 8,500 teachers missing province-wide. Teachers are left scrambling and worried as the lack of specialists and teachers will force them to take on more than they can handle. What concerns me the most is that we're missing a lot of resources that in the end affect a lot the children, affect a lot the teachers because we uh, aren't tooled with what we need to be able to handle certain situations. If you're having a child with some difficulties, you want to have him evaluate or anything, there's no specialist there or there's no help to, uh, to be for him to integrate the classroom. So we're really, we're really seeing it more and more. And like you said, it's been going on for a while, but the more we progress, the worse it gets. In a press conference on Sunday morning, teachers and school support staff unions say that 50% of positions have yet to be filled for the upcoming school year. Many support staff positions are still vacant, and unions are worried about the amount of resignations seen in certain school service centers. After a very difficult few years we've had in the past, um, things are just going to become more difficult. Numbers show a record number of new immigrants have enrolled in schools in the greater Montreal area. But what will happen amid staffing shortages with less or even no specialists available to help children integrate and learn? It puts a lot of pressure on the students, first of all, that we're supposed to be giving them a certain education and they might not be able to receive it based off of their needs. But the problem is that we're lacking so much personnel and it's very, very worrisome that these kids came from families that came to Canada for a better lifestyle, for a better education, and we're not able to give them what they want. For the integration to work, you need the resources to go with it. Like, so I would say, let's do this. Like, put the resources in, put the budget in, and work with us to uh, get better work conditions, then we can keep those new teachers in. And even veterans, like I had colleagues that have been teaching for 20, 25 years and just move on, like stop teaching. I love teaching. This is what I do. I teach at school. I also teach dance outside of school. But I just, I'm at my fourth year and I just don't see myself continuing for 10, 20, 30 more years because it's only been four years and I'm physically, mentally, emotionally exhausted every single year. In Montreal, Brittany Enriquez, City News.